everybody. I wanted to come on here and show you a little bit about sticker books. Um, a lot of people have been talking about it in the various groups that I'm in um, for Seesaw, and I thought I'd make a little video on how I think I'm going to utilize them. I haven't really seen many people um, talking about utilizing them this way, so I just wanted to show you my ideas. And then if you click the link, it will take you to my Teacher Pay Teacher site, and you can download for free the PDF. Um, that does like step-by-step -step directions of how you would create this. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have a link on the PDF to go to my activity that I created, and it's called my sticker book. It's going to look like this when you click on the link, and it's going to show you the directions that the kids are going to see, that they're going to use the first page to decorate the cover of their own sticker book, and then, um, you know, they can type on it, write their name, whatever they want to do, and then they're going to leave the rest of it blank for you as the teacher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign it to my class. And when I assign it to my class, I want to make sure that I put it in a folder that's called sticker book. If you don't have a sticker book folder, I recommend obviously creating one right here and now. So it's going to show up in there and that will help them out later on when they want to go and access it so they don't have to sift through their feed. Okay, I'm going to assign it. And now I'm going to log in as that specific student to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to sign in. And in the activities, whoops, I'm in the wrong one. Sorry about that. In the activities, it should pop up. Okay, my sticker book. So your student is going to add their response, and they're only going to be decorating the cover of this. So I thought that was a way for obviously them to access it and make it their own, so they can, you know, type on it. They can add pictures if they want of themselves, which is kind of fun. Oh, it's using another site. Anyways, they could if they wanted to. Um, they could upload pictures. They could, you know, make a fun background behind it. Whatever they want to do. They get their own. Draw a little picture. Okay, then after they're done with the cover, in the directions it does specifically say, you know, don't, don't um, do anything else in the other pages. So they're going to send it to your teacher or send it to me. Okay, and it's going to show up like this on their feed. So then what's going to happen is if I assign something, so say I assign, um, you know, an activity for my student to do, they've done this time capsule and it's submitted to me and it says Palmer has submitted her time capsule. I see it. I look at it. I approve it. And I'm like, oh, great job. She's done. So as a teacher, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in. And I will see that oops, where is it? Um, Palmer's is being ready to approve. So her sticker book is in. Okay, I've approved it. Um, and so now it will be in her folder, in her sticker book folder. So again, she has submitted her time capsule. I want to go in and give her a sticker for the time capsule. So as a teacher, you can see all of your students here in Class Journal, and they each have their own name. And so obviously this is a little time consuming because you're going to have to go in and do it for your individual student for every assignment. But I think it's beneficial, and especially when we're distance learning. Um, we have a little bit more time on our hands to be able to give them some kudos. So I'm going to click on Palmer's name. And you'll see there's a little folder there. I'm going to click on her sticker book folder. Now, here is only Palmer's sticker book folder. I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, da -da -da -da, edit the item. And I'm going to go to the first page. And she completed her time capsule. So I'm going to write time capsule. Okay. And I'm going to put it in this first box. Oops. 
and then I'm going to add a little sticker in here for her. So I've already pre-made that avatar I put in the directions. I made a Bitmoji avatar so I can search like, great job, outstanding job, like try again, whatever sticker I want it to say. Um, and I am going to be able to input it there. Okay. So she's going to be able to see now, after I submit it, that she can go back into her sticker book and check that, oh, I did a great job on my time capsule. Now, every single time your student does an assignment, you can put stickers here. And so they can see like, oh, I did my time capsule and then maybe I'm missing another assignment here. And they can visually see which ones they've done and which ones they haven't done. Now, if you're really great, when, I, when you go to that link at the beginning and you know for sure like this week you're going to be doing a time capsule, a literacy assignment, a math assignment, you could put all the names of those different assignments in already before you assign the student um, the sticker book. And that way you don't have to go through and take the time to type in what the assignment is. But with these crazy times, you might not necessarily know day by day what assignments you're doing or whatever it is. So two different options. You can go in and type in the name of the assignment and put the sticker in. Or at the beginning when you assign this, you can edit um, the assignment and put in all of the names of the different activities you're going to be doing that week kind of saves you some time in the long run. Anyways, I'm going to put a check mark on this now. So if Palmer were to go back into her profile and go to her journal, she could go back and see time capsule. I got a little fun little cute sticker. Great job. So I know as if I'm Palmer that I've done this assignment and my teacher accepted it and we're good to go. And it's just fun. I mean, kids absolutely love stickers, obviously. So this is just a fun way of doing this. And in the PDF, it will explain, um, you know, you could do like Google Images and save them to be your stickers. Teacher Pay Teachers has a lot of paid stickers and also a lot of free ones as well that you can download. And it also shows you in the PDF how you can make your Bitmoji avatar. Um, and you can clip it to your Google Chrome and it will show up and you can literally search anything like, wow, let's see. It will show all of the, huh, that's funny. It'll show all of the bitmojis that go along with that word, that verbiage. Now, obviously bitmoji is, so, is for all ages. So you as a teacher are the only ones who can see this. And so you can, you know, search and choose whichever ones are appropriate for your students. If you have questions, please let me know.